friends? Today, we're going to read another book about the garden, Things That Grow. We're learning so many exciting things, friends. Okay, today, our book is called The Tiny Seed. I wonder what this book's about. Hmm, maybe it's about a seed. Let's find out, friends. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flowers, seeds high in the sky air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? Do you see all those seeds flying around? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burns it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. See the tiny seed? It keeps going. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. Oh no, friends. What happened? It couldn't swim. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. See the tiny seed? It's lower than the others. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. So there's the tiny seed. It's following along with the other seeds. Finally, the wind stops and the seed fall, seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. Whew, that was scary. It is so small, the bird does not see it. So the bird didn't see the tiny seed. What do you think is going to happen with the seed? Let's find out. Now it's winter. After a long trip, the seed settles down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like soft, like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed from, for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. So the tiny seed is still there. It didn't get eaten and it's staying in the ground. Now it's spring. What happens in spring, friends? Things grow. That's right. Things grow in the spring. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sunshine, the rain falls. The seeds grow round and full that they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They've sprouted and they're turning into plants. How exciting, friends. They are plants. First, they send roots down to the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big, fat weed. Weeds are not good for our garden because it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from the plants. And in this story, it takes it away from one of the plants and that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry! But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. So it was a tinier seed, so it started to grow a little bit late, but that's okay, it's still gonna make it. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun in springtime. One child 
doesn't see the plants and he runs along. Oh, he breaks one. <gasps> now it can't grow anymore. Uh-oh. I don't think it was a tiny seed, though. I see the small plant still there. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has six. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what's happening? First, there are footsteps. Then a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. <gasps> oh, he just lost his friend. A boy has picked a flower to give to a friend. Oh, that's nice. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It does not stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they had ever seen. It is a giant flower. Wow, from that little tiny seed became a huge, ginormous flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Look at, I see the birds and the butterflies coming to visit too. Now it is autumn again and the days grow shorter. The nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower, and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. <gasps> What's going to happen, friends? The wind blows harder. The flower has lost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind. But the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower. And this time, the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on with the wind. Oh, there's all those seeds falling off. And it's going to happen again. So all those little seeds are going to find some place and grow another flower. How exciting. So that is how a seed grows into a plant. And it just does it over and over again every season. It's so exciting, friends. I'd encourage you to plant a seed and see what happens at your home. Okay, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye!